What is going on you guys? This is the workout for Monday, December 28th. And it's gonna be upper body emphasized. We're gonna start off with some band work to warm up the shoulders. We're gonna start off with some good old W's. We're gonna superset those with some band dislocates. So let's run through this, okay? So you're gonna start in that L position, okay? L position being 90 degrees at the elbow here, okay? 90 degrees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift up. So just lift up like this and spread your hands apart at the same time. So like this, up, out, hold, come back in and back down to that same position. Okay, again, out and spread. Okay, that band is up around my eye level here. My elbows are on the inside of my hands. My hands are, are basically externally rotating, coming back in, okay, from the side. So I'm here, I'm spreading out and here. Yes, I do undo the bend of the elbow where I straighten the arm out slightly as I pull those hands apart. That's normal, okay? But just pulling out and coming back in. Pulling out, coming back in, okay? 30 seconds, and then 30 seconds of band dislocates, right? Arms nice and straight all the way around to the back. Back to the front here, keeping good tension, keeping those arms nice and straight. Arms nice and straight the whole time, okay? 30 seconds each, back to back, three rounds, take a 30 second break after you've done the two exercises, okay? So 30 seconds on the, uh, the W's, 30 seconds on the, on the band dislocates, and then 30 second rest, and do it two more times, okay? Second exercise, incline barbell press. So just remember, we've got to set the bar up to squat level height. Incline the seat slightly, if you like, you don't have to, but it will help to keep your hips back. You don't want those hips sliding forward. Okay, also with the bench, it's got to be a, a little bit past the bar here, okay? So a couple inches behind the bar. Remember when you lift off here, you want to push against the cage. It will feel, as, as odd as it sounds, it will feel better on your shoulders, okay? If you just try to push up and your arms are back here, it's going to feel very awkward, okay? So, same grip as your bench press, push against the cage, take it out, come down, we're going to come right down to that chin level, we're going to try to touch the, up, up, um, the uh, basically right around the collarbone, if you can't get to there, if it's too much tension, too much uh, pain in the shoulders, let's go a little bit short and stop somewhere about here, okay? We're going to try to get to that upper chest, or right to the collarbone I should say, elbows are underneath the bar, and we drive up. Right down your left collarbone, right? Not here, okay? When you go to wrap it, you're gonna finish that wrap, come back, let it hit, and come down. You've got five sets of eight to do on this. You're gonna go roughly every two minutes, okay? Third exercise. One arm dumbbell rows. So take the bench out. One dumbbell is all you need. We're going to get one knee up on the bench like this. We're going to create that anterior pelvic tilt so the back is nice and flat. If you have restriction or you, have your, you don't have flexibility in your hamstring, then what you can do is just bend that knee and you'll be able to get to a better position, okay? Weight on your heel, weight on the inside knee, weight on your inside hands here, which is underneath the shoulder. Good stretch here, pull towards the hip. Stretch, pull towards the hip. Stretch, pull towards the hip. When you go to change hands, let's go to the other side, right? We're gonna switch knees. Same positioning, but opposite hand, obviously, right? Opposite hand on the bench, opposite knee. 
Same thing again, enter your pelvic tilt. Do the same amount of reps on the other side. You're gonna go every, what do we say here? Every two minutes, um, 10 reps. And gentlemen, I want you to start with about 30 to 35 pounds. Ladies, somewhere around 15 to 20 pounds, okay? Again, these are starting weights. Um, also, I failed to mention on your incline, right, you're gonna use about 75% of the weight that you could do um, on your regular bench press, okay? About 75% of the weight. So, you know, again, if you do 100 pounds on your bench press, you should be able to do about 75 pounds on your incline, okay? And then start with about 50% of that weight and build your way up, right? Build your way up like you know how to do, right? So by your third or fourth set, you're going to be at your eight rep max, okay? That's for your incline. Okay. Uh, next, we've got um, seated side raises, okay? Side lateral raises. On these ones, we're only going to come up to about parallel to the floor, okay? Arms parallel to the floor, that is. So, you're going to... Sit on the edge of your bench. Sit on, sit right in the edge, bring your knees in so those arms can come right down to the side. Then you're going to lift right up to the side and slightly forward. Okay, slightly forward. Come back down, right up to parallel. We want to try to keep those elbows up. As soon as you get back down to this point here, we're going to come right back up again. So you want to create this constant movement. We're going to go for 20 reps. 20 reps. Notice my elbows stay up. I do not do this, right? Not this. I don't externally rotate. I stay internally rotated. Keep those elbows up. I'm leading with the elbows. Do you see that? I lead with the elbows. Okay? Gentlemen, start with about 12 to 15 pounds. And uh, ladies, probably somewhere between 5 and 8. Okay, sorry gentlemen, 10, 10, 12 pounds, ladies, five to eight pounds, okay? Again, starting weights, you might be a, you might be a little bit stronger than that, okay? Or maybe not that strong. That's okay too. Um, next, barbell curls, just straight barbell curls here. Ladies, I'm gonna get you to start with a smaller bar. Guys, just start with a big bar. Underhand grip. Where your hands naturally fall. As always, walk into the bar. Arms nice and straight here. I'll show you from the side here. And lock those elbows in. Come to the top, good squeeze. Gonna come right back down, full extension, right back up. I'm gonna try to keep that constant movement with a little pause at the top. Again, make sure, look, full extension at the bottom. Okay? Little squeeze the top. Okay? Four sets of 20. You're gonna go every 90 seconds, okay? And finally, last exercise. We're gonna do cross, I call these cross neck dumbbell extensions. Okay, tricep dumbbell extensions. So you're gonna lie back. We did, we've done this, but it's been a really long time. So you're gonna lie back, you're gonna take the dumbbell, and you're gonna drop it right down into the opposite side of your neck, just to the side of it, okay? And then you're going to extend up like this. Right down and right up. Right down and right up. Okay, we're gonna go for 15 reps. I'm going to switch arms and immediately go into it. Okay, 15 reps. All the way down, you're going to feel a nice stretch back here and back up to that point. You're going to go every two minutes on this one, okay? So it's going to take you about 45 seconds or so to do each arm, so you've got about 30 second rest, okay? Uh, Weight wise, go a little heavier than on your side laterals. Um, I would say, guys, probably 12 to 15 pounds, ladies, 8 to 10 pounds. All right? 
that is it. So, any questions, just let me know, and good luck. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Really pay attention to how you do those banded Ws, okay? Good luck, and I will hopefully see you tomorrow, and if not, very soon.